let's do a Christmas haul. Hi guys, I'm Libby and welcome to Punzi's Palace where I do all things Disney, hence the Punzi, and all things regarding my life and home, hence my palace. So if you haven't already, be sure to hit subscribe down below for more Disney and lifestyle content. I'm finally doing it. My Christmas haul in March. It's fine. Well, let's do it. So because I was in Florida for Christmas, I didn't really get a traditional Christmas. I actually worked on Christmas. On Christmas Day, I actually opened some presents that were sent to me from my sister and my mom, and that was about it. Michael did come and visit me a few days before Christmas for his birthday, and he gave me some presents then that were from him and from his mom. And then when I got back here to Virginia, we actually did a Christmas in January. We exchanged even more presents and had like an actual Christmas, opening stockings and things like that. I'm just gonna compile all of those different Christmas things into one video and show you all of the things that I got in regards to Christmas. So let's do it. So I'm going to be categorizing them in who gave me what person by person. And the first person is Michael, my dear and lovely fiance. So something that Michael got me for Christmas, this was the one that I got when I got back here to Virginia. It's a little hefty, so it would be a little difficult to pack. And it is so, so cool. And I'm so happy that I have have it and it is the Disneyland Sleeping Beauty Castle Funko Pop with little marching Mickey. Super cute. So pretty and it's for the 65th anniversary of Disneyland so it's a little old. I think it came out like a few years ago but I absolutely love it and I do want the 50th anniversary Cinderella Castle. I do want that one as well because I worked there for the 50th but I absolutely love this one so so much and I'm going to take it as it's like a little memento reminder of the fact that we are going to be taking our honeymoon in Disneyland. When he got this for me we had not decided that we were going to Disneyland instead of Disney World for our honeymoon but I'm just gonna pretend that that's what it is. I haven't taken it out of the box yet. I don't know if I want to display it out of the box or keep it in the box because I do like the fireworks in the back behind the castle there. We'll see because I am very much a big out of the box collector. <laughs> The rest of the things that Michael got me were things that he brought down to Florida or that he bought me while we were in Florida. So one of the things that he brought to me were these pins. They are so cool. I think they were on box lunch, but they are really cool. Haunted Mansion pins of the portraits. So this is the three men and they actually stretch. So you can display them like this or like this and then do the stretch to it. I'm going to display them like this because they are so cool. So we have the three men. We have, this one's one of my faves, the ballerina on the tightrope. Very cool. And of course we have the old lady. Some people say it's Constance. We won't get into that controversy, but look how pretty. The weird thing is that they didn't sell one of the guy on the dynamite. It like wasn't an option. It doesn't exist. Don't know why they would make three and not all four. Who knows? They did make only two of the stretching portrait Funkos and not all four as well. So I don't know what they're doing. And then while we were in Disney, he did buy me this awesome holiday shirt. So I absolutely love this holiday shirt. And I love these styles of shirts that Disney makes where it's a very light, stretchy material and it's very flowy. They make really good shirts to just wear. They're really comfortable. But this is the one that I got. I like the little crisscross up at the top and I just like how just festive it is. But another thing he got me was this. So he didn't get me Paul. We got Paul in October for my birthday, but we did buy him these cute little festive holiday PJs. So he had like a nice little holiday outfit. He was ready for Christmas Eve and Christmas morning together with me. I just think it's so cute. But of course we went to T-Rex Cafe again because we love their nachos. Their nachos are so Oh good. That's everything that Michael got me. So the next person is his mom, Angela, what she got me. And I'm going to go over the things that were sent specifically with Michael down to me from her. And one of those things is this Casey's Corner dress, the belt. We have Casey's Corner logo up here at the top, cute little buttons down the side. And then it's a very cute, almost halter, but it's not halter. It just goes like a little crisscross in the back. So yes, she got me this dress. I love it because I had been looking for the Casey's Corner jersey for Michael for so long. That was going to be either a Christmas or a birthday present. I really wanted to find it. Could not find it anywhere. After like the first week of it being out, you couldn't find it 
anywhere. Very, very frustrating. I didn't want to like buy it from a reseller for like a hundred plus dollars. That was ridiculous. But I would love to get that Casey's Corner jersey so that me and Michael can wear these together because Casey's Corner is one of the places that he really likes because it's all baseball themed and he's a huge baseball fan, baseball family. So I think this is really cute because it just reminds me of him and family and it's really cute and I like the dress style. So another thing that she got me is this beautiful, beautiful lounge fly. And she keeps making fun of me for having a lounge fly backpack collection now when I said that I don't collect them, but I have not bought myself a single lounge fly backpack. Two of them have been gifted to me by her, so she's part of the problem. But I am so grateful for this backpack. I absolutely love it. It's so good. It's Spider-Man! It's the Spider-Man backpack, and they have a few different versions of the Spider-Man backpack out now, which I'm like, why do you guys keep making them because they all look very similar. I'm happy I have this one. I think this one's really cool. The lot of space in here plus like this extra bonus pocket here. So you have this embroidered spider up here. You have of course Spider-Man just detailing the blue. You have the, like these cool buckles down here. You've got the Marvel plaque that says the amazing Spider-Man and you got the Spider-Man straps. So love this but then the way that she gave it to me, well the way that Michael gave it to me was like this and then inside was this. So this if you're not familiar is Tom Nook from Animal Crossing which is a game that I play a lot and Tom Nook is kind of a butt. He only wants my money. He doesn't care. I do all the work on his island. I'm basically a slave to him. I think it's a beautiful metaphor for how terrible capitalism can be to a society and how much you have to work in a capitalist society and even though you buy something and then you resell it literally seconds later it doesn't have the same value as when you bought it, which is ridiculous because you may have just bought it like two seconds ago, but it already has decreased in value. It's the whole thing. But this little guy, he's a turd. But he's a really cute plush. Look at his little, his little tail. He is very soft as well. I kind of love that I have this and I'm probably gonna put it with my like Switch stuff because that's mostly what I play on my Switch is Animal Crossing. If you were following along on my Instagram at Punzi Palace, follow me because it's a fun time. I also had an advent calendar and she gets me advent calendars every year and so I have gotten mini Funko advent calendar. I also got a Tsum Tsum calendar one year. This year she got me another mini Funko one and it was another Harry Potter one. One was a bit more Christmassy. I think this was like the 2020 or 2019 one so it was a little bit older because I didn't like the new one that had come out. I really liked this one. It had a lot of characters and stuff that I didn't have before from the Yule Ball Funko advent calendar I had gotten previously. But then they also did have like three different Dumbledores. We had three different Harrys. Stop. There's so many characters in Harry Potter. Why would you make so many repeats? I'm going to be showing you 20 of them. There were 24. There were two that were like pretty much the exact same as ones that I got in my Yule Ball one. So I gave those to my roommate Caroline, who's also a huge Harry Potter fan. I gave her a Harry and Ron that both just, they had their sweaters that said the H and the R because I didn't need them because I have two other Harry Potter ones that I got and another Ron one that I got so I thought they were cuter so I, I gave them to her. Let's just go through and show you them in no particular order. But we have little Dobby here, super cute and he even has a little sock. We have Ginny Weasley here so she's just in her Harry Potter uniform, nothing too special but it's Ginny. Draco Malfoy here, he is very cool, slick back hair and he's just in his, his robes but you can see that he has the little Slytherin crest right there. We also got Fred and George, both of them with their Christmas sweaters on, F and G. I think I got Fred really early in the month and it took forever to get George. I thought he was going to be the next day and I kept just not getting George and I was like, he better be in there. I got two different Hermione's, interesting, cat Hermione, <laughs> which I don't know why this was part of the like Christmas one but okay so we'll pat Hermione here a little creepy and then Hermione just like in regular clothes with a gift very cute Snape here with like his robes on maybe like winter garb or something that he's wearing Neville he's one of my favorites with the little monster book adorable several Harry's so we have Harry with the invisibility cloak here which I think is pretty cool looking the invisibility cloak and he's just like in his PJs then we also have this Harry he looks like he's holding like a golden ornament of Al or Hedwig. Dumbledore, he's holding a little Harry. 
very cute. Another Dumbledore here, just like a different kind of design of what he's wearing. He's got little stars on him and he's holding like a little Christmas package of some sorts, maybe some sweets, but I really like this one. I think this one's very Christmassy. They did not need to make three Dumbledores though for this set. Funko, come on, let me design for you. Then we have little Ron here. He's very cute in his little outfit here. Knitted hat and he's holding like a little candy. He's wearing a little vest and it even has an R on the vest. So you know his mom made it for him. They had so many animals in this one. I loved that. Fang, look at how cute little Fang is. Crookshanks, little baby Crookshanks. Love an orange cat. These are so, so cute. So they are flocked, which is just so cute. So we have little Hedwig here. Very cute. His little tail feathers do make it hard for him to stand up, but that's okay because he's so cute. And then we also have this one, Fox, which is so cool. Look at just how awesome he is. So he is also flocked. And then the flames here at the bottom, just this, this makes up for a lot of the ones that I was complaining about in the box <laughs> of the advent calendar because this one's just so cool. But I did get this one pretty early in the box, so I had high expectations. Also got Luna here little spectra spec she even has her strawberry earrings her little ponytail sorry if you hear a cat meowing in the back and then i was so happy to get this one it was like towards the end but it's haggard with the christmas tree and i do want the big funko of him with the christmas tree because he deserves to be in a big funko and i just i love haggard so much very happy that i finally have him now because he was in the last harry potter advent calendar i got but i gave away my haggard to my friend who really loves haggard so now i'm happy that i have one so that's everything from angela and now let's move on to the things that my sister Brittany got me. She got me a lot, <laughs> like a lot. So she got me this pop pin of baby Hercules and I don't really collect the pop pins, but I now have two. She gave me the Powerline one for my birthday, but now I also have baby Hercules. She got it for me because you know, I love Hercules. She was like, it reminds me of, to her, her son, me, my nephew. He really does and it's just so cute. So I also got this Funko Pop, this little Eeyore Funko Pop. And it's another Christmas Funko Pop and I love special holiday Funkos because then I can only bring them out for some part of the year and then I put them away and then when you bring them out for the next year it's like you're opening up new Funko Pops, kind of. I love that I can add this one to the collection, Himmel tangled up in the lights. And then she also got me two board games. So she got me this Disney Parks Life board game which is just so cute and we played Life growing up like the regular life all the time so often it was like our favorite board game to play so i'm really happy that i have this from her now and it's a disney parks one which is just super cool the board alone is just beautiful there's a whole like jungle cruise adventureland section of the board which is just ugh, amazing but it's just it's really fun we've already played this one and it's it's a really good time. She also got me Pixar Monopoly. Now we did not play Monopoly that much growing up because it can get a little competitive in the house, but I really, really love that I have this Pixar Monopoly one now. The theming of it is so cute and I think it's gonna be so much fun. I've already claimed which piece I'm going to be. I'm gonna be the up house every single time. I've already claimed it. There's like Miguel's guitar, the Pixar lamp, Pizza Planet truck, the ball, and the Wally shoe. So that's super cute and you can build owl toy barns or cozy cone motifs. It's really cool. So I'm very excited to play this one. The last thing that she got me is this Squishmallow. So she's a huge Squishmallow collector. I am not. I will be very specific about my Squishmallows, only buying Disney ones and only select Disney ones. But she got me this and it was oh, so cute. So I opened the package to this. Oh, you got me the Sully one. Is this a Sully Squishmallow? She's like, maybe. Pull it out. It's not just a Sully Squishmallow. It's Sully with a baby boo squishmallow. He looks adorable, first of all, amazing. And then boo is just absolutely adorable. They're still attached right now until I put them in the background because they're of course gonna go in the background because they're so, so soft and so cute, just adorable. And I didn't know that they came with like a little pal like this. And apparently there's like three others in a series of squishmallows that they came out with that are Disney that are like this, but I don't need them because I have this one and this would be the one that I would want the most anyway. So thank you so much, Brittany. Next are some gifts that I got from my roommates. My one roommate, Jocelyn, she gave me and my other roommates all these cute little plushes. So I got the Pooh Bear plush and it looks like old school actual Pooh Bear, which is really cute. And on his little ribbon, it says my sweetest adventures always 
include you. That's so cute. I, I never read that before, but that's so cute. He's really adorable. So my roommate Katie got me this, as you can see, and it is an ornament. Here she is. It's Rapunzel. I've seen this ornament so many times, and every time I'm like, oh, I love that ornament and I just never got it for myself. So thank you, Katie, for getting me things that I never get for myself. <laughs> Look at her, her dress, the arch, her hair everywhere. She's gorgeous. I, I absolutely love this. So thank you so much, Katie. And then in my Skipper's group of friends, we decided instead of all of us getting each other gifts, that would be a lot, we decided to instead do Secret Skippers or Secret Santa. It was super fun. So Skipper Annie actually had me. She gave me Reese's, which are all gone, as well as these little crackers of socks and they're Harry Potter socks. So we have like the Hogwarts castle on some socks and they're very comfy. And I posted all of these also on my Instagram at Punzi Palace. This one that has owls delivering letters, just letters, the boy, who lived and it has Harry on the front there. Hermione, I really like this one, it says Leviosa and then Leviosa on the other side and that's really cute. Little Hermione. This one of Ron, it says that was bloody brilliant on either side. It's so hard to show, sorry. <laughs> That little Ron there. Very cute. So thank you so much, Annie. I absolutely loved them and I loved cracking them open. That was really fun. One of the Skipper's moms, Skipper mom of Skipper Mary, actually gave all of us these really cute little Skipper mementos. Actually on my keys, she gave us all these little Skipper keychains that she made out of resin. Skipper, there's little animals in it. And then she also gave us these ornaments. It says Skipper Libby 2021. She had one for like each of us, which is just so sweet of her. It's made out of wood, but even more than that, the backside of the ornament. It's just absolutely so cute. So thank you so much, Skipper Mom of Skipper Mary. Speaking of Skipper Moms, my mom also got me some things. So there are quite a few things that she got that are for like my future home and everything with Michael that are packed away and I don't think really need time to show you. So she got me like some actual utensils for our kitchen. She got us some kitchen utensils and she got us some really nice cooking knives. So thank you very much for all of that, mom, because those things are not cheap and they are necessary. But she also got me some fun things as well. One of them is also packed with that kitchen stuff, but they're really cute. They're pot holders to get stuff out of the oven, but they're lobster claws, which is really cute because she calls me lobster, her lob, I'm her lobster sauce. It's just one of my nicknames from her. So anything lobster, it's just, it's really cute. Then she also got me some dark chocolate hot cocoa mix. Not tried this yet because I just got this pretty recently and I haven't had time to just sit down and drink some hot cocoa, but I will be trying this out soon. And it's just, I can't wait. I love, love some good hot cocoa. She always, always would get us PJs for Christmas Eve and she has not stopped. Some Victoria's Secret, as we grew older, we got Victoria's Secret PJs, not like not like those kinds of PJs. Long pants, long sleeve flannel shirt, and they're just really comfy. I really like their PJs, so thank you so much for that, Mom. Michael's brother, Matthew, actually got me this Funko Pop. One of my favorite TV shows is Parks and Rec. He has been watching Parks and Rec finally, and he absolutely loves a lot of the characters, and so he got me the Duke Silver Funko Pop, which is actually Ron Swanson. I absolutely love it. I don't want a lot of the Parks and Rec Funko Pops because there's a lot of them, and I just, I don't need all of them. I mean, of course, I would love Janet Snake Hole because, duh. I absolutely love it, so thank you so much. And then Matthew and his girlfriend, Charlotte, actually both got me an ornament, but a lot of our ornaments are now packed away besides the few that I've shown you. So I'll just insert a picture here of the ornament that they got me. They got me the Pascal ornament where he's holding on to the lantern and it lights up and I didn't know it lit up until she showed it to me. Very, very cute. Thank you so much. The next batch of things are actually all from just the Jenkins family, which is Michael's family. I'm just going to go through all of those and starting off, there are also two more ornaments. They're packed away. Pictures here. They also got me the Bo Peep ornament of her on her little lamp and it is so so pretty it also lights up it's gorgeous and then they also got me another rapunzel ornament it's rapunzel and pascal and they're like separate ornaments so you can have a little baby pascal ornament which is super cute and she has her little painting palette and oh, they're adorable but also from the jenkins family is the quest of your book from Onward by Barley and Ian. And this is really cool. I read through all of it already. It's basically their actual quest of yore that tells you about all the things. It's pretty like 
easy, simple thing to read. But then it also basically, with all of their notes throughout it, goes through the actual story of Onward. I think it looks really cool. All the artwork in it is really cool and all their little notes and stuff. And it just looks like a really cool book. Another crossbody lounge fly. It's a lot bigger than I thought it would be too. So it's a crossbody. A Pooh Bear one, of course. So it has all these little daisies. We got Pooh and Piglet here. The only embroidered stuff on it are the bees and their little trails. The rest is kind of printed on there. But also you have Eeyore here on the back. And that that's what really sold me is you have Eeyore on the back. And I love this baby blue color of it. The little tassel is a bee. The lining on the inside just says, oh bother over and over again. I don't know if you can see that. Absolutely adorable. I have a lot of bags now, so I think I'm good on bags. <laughs> Another thing that I was wanting a lot more of is clothes. And I, I got quite a few Disney clothes. One of them being some Vanellope leggings. These are super cute. So they are just like Vanellope's leggings that she wears in the movie. Really comfy. Love them. I would love an entire like Vanellope outfit. We'll get there. And then the next two shirt clothing items that I got are both from Polka Dot Pixie Shop and I will have them linked down below so you can go and check them out. I love their artwork on all of their different shirts. They are so cool. I've been following them for a while. I just haven't bought anything from them yet and I'm so happy that the Jenkins family actually bought me things from their shop because I love their shop. The shirt that I'm wearing is from them and that has been on my wish list for a while. Such a cute shirt. So I love this heather purple color anyway. I like my mansions haunted and it has each of the different haunted mansions from all the different Disney parks. This one is Orlando, Hong Kong, Tokyo, Anaheim, and Paris. I, I love it so much and it's a very, very comfortable shirt. I absolutely love her shirts. But another shirt that I got is this Raglan t-shirt. Jingle Cruise says sailing with the Yuletide and I absolutely love it. She has quite a few different Jingle Cruise like shirt styles but I love that I got this one because it has an elephant on it and did you know that elephants actually have the best memory out of any animal in the entire jungle. Sure wish I had a memory like that. Help me with my job. The little shipwrecked boat here with the presents falling out and I absolutely loved working Jingle Cruise. Jingle Cruise was so much fun. I loved doing all my Jingle Cruise jokes. So I'm very happy that I have this now. Really comfy, really good shirt. Definitely go and check out Polka Dot Pixie Shop because I absolutely love their shirts. They are so soft, so comfortable. Link down below. But then I also got this sweatshirt, which is just absolutely perfect. It's an Onward sweatshirt. Willowdale College and it has the light foot up at the top. It's a very, very comfortable sweatshirt. It's very lightweight, but also very soft on the inside, keep you warm, pretty much exactly like what Ian wears in the movie. So I love that. It just doesn't have a hood. I think his has a hood, I'm not sure. And then a big thing that I got for Christmas is this. This big thing right in front of me. It was a late birthday present because it got there late. I'm kind of counting it as a Christmas present. It's a red box, it's a big red box. You know what that means. It's a gym shore. I know what it is already, but let's take it out. I have not seen it out of the box in person. I don't collect gym shores. I don't see the need for them a lot of the time. Because to me, it's just a lot of things that I could break. <laughs> There's this one and then one other one that I'm like, yeah, I'd like those. Because I'd like like just a few things that are like really nice. And this is, this is gorgeous. It's Rapunzel's Tower, of course. As soon as I saw that he was starting the sketches and stuff to make this, I, I sent it to everybody. I was like, this is the only one I would ever want and ever need. It's beautiful. It's perfect. He got it all right. He has his signature like Jim Shoring detail on it as well as like the stonework and all the greenery on it. You got all the little details up here. Absolutely perfect. I love the bottom, how just perfect it looks. If you look closely, you have a little Rapunzel in her tower, which I, he didn't even need to put that as an extra detail, but he did. I saw somebody's, it looked a little wonky on her face, but her face looks really good here. So I'm glad that I got a good one. <laughs> this is my Jim Shore. I, I've entered into the realm of Jim Shores and this is absolutely beautiful. It won't be going back here in the like background background because it's a bit too tall for these shelves, but it will be going right over there so I can look at it all the time. She's beauty, she's grace. So now let's get into the stocking stuffers that I got. So in addition to what I'm about 
about to show you, I also got some chocolate, which is all gone, and some gift cards, which aren't gone, thankfully, yet. Fun things that are just beauty products, like some face masks, like this pumpkin seed oil one. I also got a bubble mask, I believe, and I used that one already. Some foot masks, lovely peach foot mask as well. Excited for those. I also got this body scrub by Soap and Glory. It smells really good. It is rose and bergamot. It's a fine but effective scrub featuring mandarin extract and pink wax spheres. Ooh, that's hard to say. Pink wax spheres to help gently reveal radiant skin that's positively glowing. So very excited to use this. I also got a Disney calendar. So super cute. I absolutely love it. So it's just a year of animation. All three of us got a calendar. Michael, Matthew, and I, we all got calendars, all different ones. So it has all different like animation scenes on it. And then at the bottom, it has either trivia about it or just explaining the scene. And it's been really fun to go through it each day. And then I also got these things. <laughs> You're probably thinking, what what is this? It is a thing that you hang up like this and you actually can hang your ears in each one of the loops as a way to display them. So that's super fun because I have grown quite a collection of ears, not like ridiculous or anything, but quite a little collection. So this is a fun way to hang it up. So this one's very like Christmassy feel. And then I also have this one, which is yellow and red, very Winnie the Pooh vibes with this one. But of course I also got some pins. So I got this beautiful Jungle Cruise pin. This was specifically from Michael in my stocking and it's really really cute. I love it. I think this was from Box Lunch when the movie came out and it says the world famous Jungle Cruise excursions departing daily which of course we have this fun one from Monsters Inc and I didn't know that this was like a spring element. I like saw this on their website a few different times but I didn't know it was a spring element with Mike there in the door and then you have Sully there in the back. Haunted Mansion one says, welcome to the Haunted Mansion. Master Gracie there in the middle. And of course the little Aristo kitties getting in a tumble. One of them actually angry about it. The other two just having a blast and laughing. Of course reminds me of my nieces and nephews because that'll be them. That'll be them. It probably already is them. And the last thing that I wanted to show you is actually from another small shop, Grape Soda Club. So it is a key ring. I'll link them down below. And this is so cool. I'm not a huge key ring keychain person but this one just makes sense and I cannot wait to use it a world showcase spinner so you have all the different countries that are represented in Epcot and this little spinner here in the middle that has like the geodesic sphere there in the middle and it says around the world and eat and drink on each side and so you'll spin it and it tells me that I need to drink in Norway and eat in China Ooh, that's a weird combination. We have already picked out where we were going to eat on our next Disney trip and everything, so I won't be using it really for that, but probably for drinking. That'll be really fun. It's absolutely so pretty as well. Go and check them out. They still have this in their shop. Like this is one of their best selling items. So go and get yourself one because it's really cool. And it's just like a fun thing you can put on your bag to take to Epcot as well. So that is everything that I got for Christmas. This is quite a long video, I know, but there were just so many things and I wanted to make sure that I gave due diligence to everything everything that people got me for Christmas. Thank you so much to everybody for making it a very special Christmas, even though it was spread out over many, many, many days, which like, that's not too terrible to have Christmas spread out like that, but I'm very happy to actually be home now. So hopefully I can celebrate Christmas with my family this next year. <laughs> Leave a comment down below saying what your favorite thing was from all of these items that I got. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and until next time, farewell.